Welcome to a Pallet Jack and Vlog. What is up beautiful people, TJ here with another episode. Today we're gonna to be going to a couple of bin stores. I'm gonna be checking out uh, the new bin store that opened up a couple weeks ago. And I'm also gonna be going to my go-to, which is Lakeside Treasure Hunt. Um, I'm not gonna show you exactly everything that we got from these bin store trips. It's actually gonna be four bin store trips and there's gonna be on a video that's gonna come out tomorrow. I know typically we come out with our bin store videos on Sunday, um, but me and I will be going through, uh, getting through a couple things the last couple of days. So we hadn't had a chance to film. Uh, that video but they gave me an opportunity to go to the bin store this morning i got a couple of good pickups um and yeah y'all gonna see that video that video is gonna come out tomorrow so make sure y'all check that video out also if you like these videos please hit that subscribe button uh we are so close to 5,000 subscribers um and i just reached on my channel today love lady uh, i reached 12,000 subscribers so i really appreciate everybody um for checking out my channel and supporting us me and april in this youtube adventure um that we're doing so with that being said, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go over to the bin store just to kind of see what's going on. While I'm in there, I'm gonna to talk to you uh, about what my thought process is when I'm picking up items from the bins. Now I know it's super, you know, I don't know, it's it's easy to go to the bin store and pick up a bunch of stuff uh, and then not necessarily know exactly what you're getting. But I will say that I, I do pretty good with picking out items, but sometimes I don't put items back and then I end up with too much stuff and then it's like more stuff than I actually need. Um, so I'm gonna be talking a little bit about my thought process when I go through uh, the bins and how I kind of um, comb down the items that I actually get. So let's get over to the bin store. So I've been going to the bin store with a little bit different uh, mentality. I know that everybody has like a different way that they go to the bin store in, in a different way that they uh, actually get product. But I was really, today, this this bin store trip, I was really thinking about um, like a strategy, a plan, and it's actually done really well for me. I've done this the last two times I've been to the bin store and I actually come out with a lot better stuff because um, I don't just grab everything. So my process is I go in with a, a budget or an item count in mind. So I'll say, you know, I'm only gonna get 10 items. I'm, I'm only gonna get 15 items, um, you know, and then if I see anything like for personal use, I'll go ahead and pick that up. Um, but if it's something for us to sell, um, I'll have a, a, a item count in mind. I'll say, okay, I'm gonna get this many items and I truly do stick to that most of the time. But um, yeah, I, I think by having uh, an item count or a, an item goal, uh, you, you end up getting a lot better items because when I go in there and you know I just I'm all willy nilly and buying just whatever I can, uh, I tend to buy stuff that's not necessarily the uh, the best items to resell. You know, I may pick something up on five dollar a day that's selling for seventeen dollars, and it's like you know after shipping and fees what is my actual profit gonna be? Is it even gonna be worth uh, me picking this up and trying to resell this and taking up room in the store and stuff like that? So I think by having an item count or having a goal um, of how much you wanna spend while you're in the bin store, you can really go off to the side and you know scan your items and say, hey, uh, this really isn't worth it. Plus I'm already over my goal, so let's kind of comb this down and put some stuff back that you don't need. Um, because like I said, you can go in there and you can look at items and, and you know you can see them listed for 45. Like I had a good a, a good thing just happen or a, a good example of that just a minute ago. Um, I scanned a it was like a carburetor or something like that. Brand new, it was it was uh, it wasn't sealed, but the, the carburetor inside was like had the packaging around it and it was sealed. Um, but the box itself wasn't sealed, so when I scanned it you know, it was like $156, $170. They had it listed on Amazon uh, for like $125. And I was like, wow, you know, this is this is a good good item, right? You know, you would think, well, then I go to sold comps and none have sold. So it's like, okay, it's listed for $150, but is it gonna really sell? Even though it's $5, and you can kind of take those calculated risks sometime and say, well, even though I know it's listed for $150 and there's no solds, maybe it will sell eventually. But what I found is when I say that, when I know in my mind that I've said that, 
those items tend to sit on the shelf a lot longer and they take up a lot of space. And, you know, I shouldn't have picked those items up because I saw that nobody's buying them, you know? So like I said, you just really have to uh, come up with the process and just kind of stick to that process. So I'm going over to the other band store. I got a goal in mind. I'm only going to get five items. If I see anything, if I don't see anything, it's okay to walk away and not buy anything. That's, that's, that's an option. <laughs> don't don't think just because you go in the band store that you got to uh, pick something up. Just if, if you don't see nothing, don't get it. Like I said, there's definitely gonna be some stuff always that you're gonna find and you're gonna say, wow, I think this is gonna be good. And then you go look it up at the sold comps versus the stuff that's listed, and it's not gonna be great. So make sure you put that stuff back, you know. Um, you know, now you can get some stuff for the long haul because like those transport backpacks, those probably will eventually sell um, once the kids and stuff go back to school. So, you know, if you had those, you can probably sell those between 25 and $30 a piece. And they had a ton of, they had about five of them in the bins uh just now but i didn't pick them up because i don't want to hold on to them for the next you know six months or something like that so <sighs> there's a lot to be learned every time you go to the bin store so <laughs> let's get back over to the store all right so we have 12 orders to ship out in a total of 432 dollars and 91 cents let's see what we got all right, so let's start from the top. Uh, so the first thing that we sold was this Destek 3D um, headset thing. And I believe we got this from a either a King Kong deal box or a um, a catching deal box. I can't remember. Uh, we sold this for $21.99 plus shipping. First item. All right, then the next item is this. Yeah, our next thing was this talking pen. I actually got this from my first um, bin store trip to Give Me Five down in Dalton, Georgia. And I sold this for $43.99 plus shipping. So it was a total of $53.20. Uh, so I actually picked this up for $5. So it was a pretty good sale there. And then the next thing is this sun uv um lamp for like your nails curing your nails uh twenty dollars plus shipping so twenty four dollars and sixty four cents um and this came in one of the king kong boxes or something like that mystery box and then the next thing was this a cell um eaton pt programmable timer or whatever it is um, and we sold this for $25 plus shipping, so $27.60. I'm pretty sure this came in one of the um, $100 uh, bargain bin supply boxes. All right, the next thing was something that I was kind of reluctant to pick up when I was at the bin store. Um, so this was a Dallas Cowboys football team neoprene uh, mouse pad. Uh, we sold it for $10 plus shipping, so $13.99. We paid five for it, so not the best uh, pickup, but still a little bit of profit and the next thing is this is actually a recent one this was the roku rocor justice guard terminator m8 
70. Um, and I picked this up at the bin store for $5 and it sold for $30 and 79 cent uh, plus shipping. And so it was a $37 and 26 cent total. Okay, next, 88 lights. We got this from, this was a Rubbermaid lunchbox. Um, we sold it for $9.59 plus shipping. Um, and I think we just had like 99 cent shipping on this. So it was uh, $10 and 49 cent is the total. The next thing is kind of, you know, whatever. <laughs> we got these in a lot of our kitchen deal boxes. I know y'all saw these. I don't think that Amazon supports these anymore, um, but we put that in the listing. We gave, we, and we had a lot of six of them. So all six of these, um, and they paid $21.11 plus shipping. So $23.10, um, we're gonna ship all those out. All right, the next thing was from a um, our bargain band supply box. This was the, uh echo 520 sierra um drone we sold it for 70 dollars plus shipping so it was a total of 79 dollars and 96 cents um this is just like a quick tip whenever i'm packaging or whenever i am listing items and if i, if I have something like i know it's missing the cable so i need to add a cable or I need to wipe the box off or something. I put like a little note, a little sticky note on it. And then that way, whenever I pull it out to go ship it, I'll say, oh, I need to add a USB charger cable, which I have it in my car. I just forgot to put it in here. So um, that's just like a little tip that I use to make my life easier. Okay, the next thing is a 22 gauge hookup wire kit. Um, that was this little thing. I can't remember exactly where we got this from. Um, this may have come from the bins, but anyway, we took a, a offer for $17.15 plus shipping. It was $18.18 for that. The next thing was another bin pickup recently. Um, it's this electric coffee Instagrams grinder for coffee. Um, <clears throat> we took an offer for $21.30 plus shipping. So it was $24.29. We're gonna get that shipped out. This is actually a pretty big little hit here um <clears throat> this pan so if as you know it's just got like a little like a dent in it this is for my scratching dent um lot that we got from our pallet from bulk.com we took an offer for 90 dollars plus shipping so 94 dollars and 77 cents for this pan i mean it's a nice pan but not for 90 dollars <laughs> in my mind but somebody bought it uh and then last but not least from my most recent Ben store trip that y'all probably have not seen yet because we haven't filmed it is this tropical UV and heat lighting kit. Y'all see this on the next uh, Ben store haul uh, that we have. I paid five dollars for it from Gimme Five, and uh, we took off for twenty eight dollars and ninety cents um, plus shipping, so a total of thirty four dollars and sixty three cents. Uh, we'll get that shipped out. So that should be everything, I believe that's yeah that's all of it so i'm gonna get all this stuff uh packaged up and shipped out so yeah we'll be happy to know that i did clean up just a little bit i mean it's not like great but it's a lot cleaner than what it was now we still got this which is all the stuff from my garage um i actually took everything inventoried it and put it over here so i can list all this stuff and then this stuff is actually gonna go to the storage unit i look at my hands i got paint all over my hands from i was painting this morning my 3d uh, prints. But anyway, there's a couple things over here that are returns that I have to test. Um, so I'm going to try to get that stuff um, tested and put back on the shelves sometime at this point. I don't know when. I want to show y'all our band system and show y'all how easy um, it is. If you're not using the custom SKUs on eBay, uh, yeah, you need to start. So let's get bigger. So I've got, we've got all these bins over here, all these totes and everything inside the totes um, are numbered. So whenever you are doing your eBay, um, when you're pulling items for eBay, it's super easy because you can look right on the custom SKU and go straight over to wherever you have your stuff. I was looking for my piece of paper, that's what I was looking for. Yeah. Now I'm gonna try to show you this without showing you anybody's name, but I may have to, anyway, I, I'll blur it out. All right, so if you're going through your, um, stuff here and you know you can see a couple items on here so like you can look at this and you can see okay those amazon ones are in bin 13 that drone is in bin 6 um that rubbermaid lunchbox is in bin 19 uh 
that coffee bean grinder is in bin 26. So definitely having the bin numbers has been a lifesaver um, because I was so aggravated when I come over here and I can't find stuff. So all this stuff is, is organized and is listed and it is in different totes. Now, there's still some totes that we're going through. I think we're up to being like 26. That's the last bin is being um, 26 there. So um, now we're moving over to totes. We got tote one. And then it goes all the way down here, and then that goes to the rest of them. So this stuff down here is not listed yet because we're only on the first tote. That's why there's nothing in there because we're not done going through that tote. Now, back here, I'm not gonna open this door because back here is a lot. This is the stuff that we're listing and we're gonna get uh, done with listing, get it out. Um, I've got this stuff already listed. Um, I just don't really have anywhere to put it right now. And like I said, this stuff is gonna be, um, listed and categorized and moved around i'm going to get rid of this this was the dollar bin the original dollar bin that we had that me and april built we built this i'm not really uh, i'm too good of a carpenter but i did build that i'm going to tear that down and then we're going to have more bin storage we should be able to go up to probably here with bins. so it's probably gonna be one two three four four bins maybe I don't know, four, eight, 12, maybe 12 bins we can get right here. So it's gonna be 12 more bins that we can have uh, available for uh, stuff. And then, you know, this area right here is gonna be cleared out once I clear it out. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it for our, our little store vlog here. So let's get back over to the house. All right, so that is going to be it for today, guys. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Also, hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we release new videos. Now, I will say I'm not going to promise that the Ben Store video is going to come out tomorrow on Monday morning, but I'm going to strive to make that happen. If it doesn't happen, it is going to be out sometime next week. So check that out. We'll be live on Tuesday if you want to come and hang out with us and chat and stuff like that. So we'll be there. Also, we're going to have a 888 Lot unboxing video come out next week the last of the kitchen stuff. And so yeah, stay blessed, stay beautiful, and more than anything, stay humble. See y'all on the next one. Peace.